everyone, it is Carol. I'm the creative owner at PS Market. Um, and this is my husband, Bill. And we're gonna Hi. wait for you guys to hop on. We have some chatting to do. Uh, and we wanted to kind of address something and we're hoping that you guys pop on and can be that be here for that and then and then we'll get to crafting. So let's see, we're gonna see if we can see any comments first. I know Bill sent out a text. If you're not on our texting, make sure you guys get on our texting. It's um, 847-349-4477. We have it right here. Go get ahead. on our texting, just in case you need the number. I see some people popping on. Yep, I do too. I see Nancy. You do it here. So okay. hard to see. Dawn, hey Dawn, hey Dawn. and Shirley and Lynn. Hey Vanessa. So, but we'll let you guys hop on. Uh, Bill's got something to address. We have something to address. And um, we figure we will do that uh, because we obviously want... Um, well, we think that there's some things that... Need there, to be there said. There is a thing that needs to be addressed and said. Mm -hmm. And in return... Up. Well, that was a perfect lead-in, Carol. And in return, we might need your help if, if something comes up. So... We were a little silent this week. I kind of had a really busy week. Both of us were busy with our jobs. Um, and I also, myself, I had a court hearing um, for a divorce from back in 2015. Um, the court hearing was uh, on um, alimony, or they call it now maintenance. It was maintenance modification or alimony modification. Um, that court hearing went for about three hours yesterday, three and a half hours. So it kind of took a lot out of us, both of us yesterday. Yeah. Um, just very emotional. I don't know if anybody's gone through it, but it, it, it's not, it's not good for either party. So we had that going on. I was stressed out all week about that, of how that was going to turn out. So what we, what I would like to address now tonight, because it affected me, this affects me, this affects Carol's business page, but it affects me. So what needs to be addressed here is we had a few of our followers through Be Inspired Market that were messaged from friends of my ex-wife. They had told untrue lies about me from years past. You know us. You guys have followed us. Many of you have followed us from day one. Yep. We are very transparent. We just showed that text number. Some of you even have our actual phone, phone number. numbers. <laughs> if you guys, this is where I'm asking for your help. If you guys come across where somebody out there has sent you a message and it's deceitful, it's slander, it needs to be addressed with us. So please send it to us. The, the few people that we had yesterday, our followers, that received those messages, they reached out to us first thing this and, morning. And the mad faces can go away. And it 100%. was... 100%. It was... We, we can track the mad faces. Yep. So we do... It's... it's it's Okay. I'm Face just going to get... It's slander and mm -hmm. defamation of character. Yeah. And you can be sued for this. Right. So my my... I'm trying to ask you guys to be patient with us because with me watching comments, there might be some comments that come through or those mad faces. And if they do, those comments will be tracked and those mad faces will be tracked. Because again, that is slander and defamation of character. We already have an attorney looking into it for us. We know who the offenders are and they will get, they will be prosecuted. We will move forward with this through Carol's business page because, because they are they are coming after me in my integrity as a person. They, there's there's two things here. There's one, we are in public, obviously, Facebook, and our lives are out there in the open. Um, but there is never a reason to drag any of you personally into our lives Personal in lives. that way, um, especially in that way. So... You know that that's why we're saying what we're saying. We we never want any of that to be involving any of you, and we know that they have, and so that's why we want to make sure that if anybody else has anything, take a screenshot, please send it to us. And then the second thing is, whatever they're sending, it's lies. It is true lies, and it's sad 
that grown adults can act that way. And so that's the reason why we're letting you guys know, um, because that's not what we're here for. <laughs> we're here to craft. Yeah. We're here to, Carol is here to craft and show you guys the latest and greatest of her talents. And that's what you guys enjoy. You guys don't want the comments. You guys don't need people messaging you that you've never even heard from before. So we've said what we had to say. Yeah. We're in the process of it. We have two other admins that monitor the page. I will not say their names. I think they, they do pop up periodically in there as an admin. What I would ask if those two admins are watching tonight, could you help me please watch the comments? If you do see those comments, mm -hmm. snap a picture of it, save those comments. We will, we will be going back to check those because our attorney is involved in this. He is on it. <laughs> I guess that's the easiest way to say that's it. That's the best way. That, that you know, that's all we're gonna and say. And also it. the, the mad faces with the admins, I know you guys can go back and we can track them too, but a lot of times it's easier for you guys to find it right away. We would like to know who those people are so we can block them and also we can track it along with if, if we need it in the future. I hope we don't need it in the future, but we might need it in the future. You so. guys, I, I see all your comments and, and that's why we love you guys. We know that um, you know how it is here and you know us, we, we are on here all for the last two years. Um, so we appreciate all the love and we appreciate everything. We're, we're, we're fine. Um, like I said, it, it's more upsetting that it had to involve all of you and it was upsetting of what was said. And I, so with all that, I think it shows their weakness. And this is what I was telling Carol yesterday. It shows their weakness when they have to come after you guys and say those things instead of contacting me direct, right. instead of contacting yeah. me direct, they have my contact information. Yeah. If they have a problem with me. They can contact me just like any of you guys a, a few of you have i've had a few of you over the years that have reached out to me and said i didn't really like what you said there could you rephrase that and i picked up the phone and called and either apologized or however it was said mm -hmm. so yeah. but let's get the crafting i think we said what we had to say yeah we had if you guys have questions or anything feel free to text us or message us uh we are an open book you are more than welcome to ask us anything um, we won't respond to here though. Yeah. I'm just letting you know We're it's good. off. It's off texting. If you guys, if you guys need yeah. to, you guys have our number. Text me. We're very transparent. Obviously, we're not going to get into major details. But the two that had happened to yesterday, we resolved the issue with them. We apologized that it happened to them, and we explained what we needed to explain. And I'll tell you what, they are both longtime followers, and they completely understood. So, okay, I say we get the crafting. Yep. Okay? Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Let's craft. <laughs> All right, guys. We appreciate you here. Bill's got comments. Um, we are going to craft, so we appreciate all the love. And we are back. So, um, we have that behind us, and we are moving forward, and we have lots of crafts to do. So, um, hey, Darlene and Beverly, I see all you guys popping on. Oh, thanks, guys. Thank you for so much. Hey, Tina. Hey, Darlene. So, we're going to be working on... Um, some planters okay so the planters um, I bought these terracotta pots you can get them at Lowe's um, and we, we I have to put plants out on my porch um, so before she kills them yeah before I kill them Bill's like they're you need water and I'm like I know I need water but I got to get them in the pots first so so we appreciate it oh thanks Terry thanks Liam for the stars yeah hey we, Maxine we said we know we have an amazing group here and a very positive group and that's how we like to keep it and um and we have an amazing support system yeah we do with family yes. and friends yes. we have amazing friends i have long time friends that i've known since i was 15 16 years old that i still stay in contact with yeah there it, it's amazing we have very amazing very amazing friends right. what does carol's shirt say so <laughs> So you, you know me, guys. <laughs> Carol's shirt says, you want to pizza me? So Carol, the story behind that is... Don't come after my husband. Hold your, hold your hands up. Hold your hands up. Hold your hands up like you used to do. Carol would always do that to me when, when she would get upset with me. She'd hold her fists up, hold them up, and go, you want... She'd go, you want a piece of me? And she'd always, like, make me laugh and smile. Well, I found that shirt. That shirt is actually from Old Navy, and it was... <laughs> a little pizza with his fists up saying, you want a pizza me? So. so I thought it was pretty appropriate. <laughs> um, so, like I said, we we have, uh, okay, let's sometimes get you just got to be laughing. Let's get the crap. Um, okay. We love you too, Jerry. All right. So what we're going to do, we've got 
got stamps that we're going to work with and molds and all this kind of stuff. But if you are somebody who likes to decorate your front porch, I got that cute little um, ladder at uh, the flea market over the weekend. And I got to fix it up a little, but I'm going to put my terracotta pots on that because um, I think it's, um, I think it's fun. Um, so let me, what we're going to do is this is one of those larger pots. We're going to work with blue ink today if you haven't worked with that. Um, what am I doing with this one? Okay, so this one, <laughs> I'm trying to, so this one is fluff. So I'm going to put this in my can because we're going to water it down. So I'm going to just take a little bit. That's another thing. Use your soup cans for Dawn said mixing. That's, a, that's an awesome Chicago shirt. Yeah, right. <laughs> we didn't get it in Chicago. Yeah. I actually got it here in Florida. I'm Kathy. just putting, I'm watering this down. That's just straight water? That's just straight water. So we're going to age this, but we're going to make it look really cool because we're going to use um, these beautiful stamps. Um, we do carry IOD now, so if you go and comment link, we'll um, send you the link. We have IOD products. So we're going to be using this stamp with the blue ink. It's China blue ink. It's really cool. Okay, let me mix this up. There was a lot of moaning back there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Barbara. Hello from Magnolia, Texas. That sounds like a great city, right? Magnolia. Magnolia. Texas. Anything Magnolia yeah. sounds good. Oh, thanks, Patches. I sure like the flamingo picture back there, Jackie said. Uh, we did that in the club. We did that in the club. The club is closed right now. Um, but uh, you can comment. You can comment DIY Club and you can get a link and it'll give you an information to get on our waiting list. Okay. Jenny Fitzgerald said, I, I just love you both. Aw. When they go low, you always go high. Outstanding, Carol. <laughs> so here we go with the white whitewash. And then this is like, um, I got these sponges. Tarpon Springs here has sponges. And you can get them pretty inexpensive because they have tons of them. But you can get these um, at craft stores or you can get them online. Um, but it's just it just makes this process look really cool. I think it's the sponge capital of the, the United yes. States. Yes. I'm going to put some gloves on because this is going to get messy. Got to get messy. Oh, Jody said she did the mad faces. Why? Because she's mad that someone would do this to them. Oh. <laughs> uh. That's okay. We're, yeah. we're crafting. Yeah. We're crafting. It is what it is. Thank you for the stars. Jody. thank you for the stars oh, and everybody else. You guys are awesome. Nicole, we love you too, Nicole. Yeah, we have, like we said, we, we have built a community here that we're very proud of. Um, and we just love you guys. So, um, okay. So now I have my sponge. Okay, and all we're going to do is you can see with the sponge, it soaks, in pretty good in it, soaks it in and it gives you a really nice, um, smooth look. And we're going to stamp this. Um, so I'm super excited about that. Where is the sponge capital? Tarpon Springs, Tina. Look it up. Tarpon Springs, Florida. They actually go diving for sponges still. They do. And if you go in the stores and stuff, they have that. So... Um, and it's a huge Greek community, yes, so they have is. amazing Greek food. See how restaurants. cool that looks, though? But we're going to put about two coats on here. Thank you, Sue. You know we're always there for you, too. Oh, you guys and are And everyone awesome. else on the page. Yeah, you guys are amazing. So you saw, with just the sponge, how much coverage I got. Um, so... Oh, and it dries quick. And it dries quick. Uh, Janice said... Uh, I love what y'all do, and I have seven grandkids, and they all call me Honeybee. <laughs> <laughs> How fun. Uh, thanks for spreading the honey, too. Jody said sorry. She didn't mean to upset you. No, oh, you're no, good, you're Jody. fine. You're good. We just thought maybe it was trolls on here. Right. Okay. So now that you have your first coat, you're going to do the second coat. We're going to just pull it through. No, we appreciate it. And just comment away. If you haven't commented, if you're new... Make sure that you let us know that you're new. Yeah, comment newbie. Let us know that you're new. We'd love, I mean, everybody on the page would love to welcome you in. Yes. And somebody said they can't wait to see what you do with these pots. These these um, stamps, right? Yes. These stamps are amazing. They're amazing, amazing. and they're going to transform this. Did and you seal the pot before you painted it? Not I did not. So I'm going to seal it after. Um, 
we have other pots we're going to be doing. So if you're working with a, a terracotta pot, you're definitely going to want to seal it. Um, and with the ink and everything else, because you're obviously going to water it. And if the water gets on the pot, you don't want it running and things. So Tina said, missed a spot, Carol. Did I? <laughs> Where? I don't know. I um, didn't say. Uh, Carla said on a brighter note, I'm so glad I got to catch you live. You know what, Carla? On a brighter note, we're so glad you're here with us. Yeah, exactly. And everything is fine, Carla. Everything's good. So yeah, we're, it's going to be fine. So, um, okay. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one more coat and then I'm going to put this one to the side. Oh, now you have to look up tarpon. That's <laughs> right. Hey, Janet. Okay. So now what I'm doing is. I have those two coats underneath. Now I'm kind of adding, it's a lot of like texture because we want it to look, we're gonna age this up a little. Uh, Patrick said, did you soak your pots first? Um, you needed to before planting due to terracotta pots not soaked up, will soak up lots of water your plants need. Oh. oh, maybe that's why all of her plants die. That's a great tip, Patches. Thank you. That's an amazing tip. So what Patches is saying is you got to make sure that you, I guess, you season or prep your terracotta pots before you, um, before you plant in there. I don't have a green thumb. I'm not gonna lie. The plants that we have on our porch are alive because of Bill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just being honest. Um, and I, I will, like to decorate the pots. <laughs> and I will be honest with you, ladies. Watering is your friend, Carol. <laughs> watering is your friend. Okay. I mean, anything grows here in Florida, as long as you water it, Carol. Um, I don't know if everything grows here. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take my gloves off. I'm going to put this to the side, and we're going to work on the molds real quick and the other um, bowls. Bowls. Uh, pots that we have so get comfy cheryl we had a um we had a really busy week cheryl so if you're just jumping on now go back and watch the beginning it'll kind of explain everything from the beginning instead of us repeating it so we can get on with the crafting um i'm just putting then, it here uh, and i'll rinse it off later sherry asked uh what do i say to get the mold link uh just link link you can comment okay -N comment yep. link okay i have these two smaller pots these we're going to work with the molds so what I'm gonna do is let me get my mold ready. So we're using IOD clay. Kathy even kills cactus. Oh, do you really? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's funny, Kathy. And I don't think um, everybody's laughing at you, they're laughing with you, Kathy. Yeah, exactly. I'm yeah, I don't have a green thumb. But this is one we have in the market. It's called Monarch, and it's a whole bunch of butterflies. Um, so we're gonna use that one. And the clay, we do have the clay, the IOD clay. It's air dry clay. I like it, I find it smoother, um, but you don't have to use the IOD clay. You can definitely use some of the paper clays I've recommended before. Um, so whatever, whatever you decide. But look at how pretty those are. Look at all those butterflies. I love that. The They're detail deep. on it is really cool. So the mm -hmm. way that we're going to do this is we're going to make our molds. We're going to apply them to the pots, and then we're going to um, paint them up. Where is, hold on. And she's back. And, and she's back. <laughs> um, but the molds are really detailed, and they have this rim, and it makes it super easy to make these molds. But you're going to see how cool it is. Hey, Judy. Judy Bradshaw's watching. Oh, don't use your fabric scissors for that. <laughs> um, and this is cornstarch. So with your molds, and I'm just going to make a whole bunch of butterflies, and we're going to see how we're going to do it. And I think I'm going to make a whole bunch. This is the laurel, and this one has bees in it. Barbara just got them, and she loves them. Oh, good. And then... Uh... The quality of the IOD molds are, are top-notch. They really are. Okay, so I'm gonna take. Jody said the butterflies turn out beautiful. Oh, good. Yes, they I, they're gorgeous. All the detail is really what I love. So I'm just gonna take some of the cornstarch, and that just helps your mold your clay pop out. You don't need a lot. You just put a little in your molds. We're just gonna make a whole bunch of butterflies that I can put on my pots. Butterflies are my jam. Oh, and then it has a little dragonfly, right? That's a dragonfly. 
I think that was a dragonfly. Yeah, yes. there's a dragonfly. Um, oh, they got a bee on here too. <laughs> April said that. April said that flamingo behind you, Carol, is beautiful. Oh, thank you. You see the little one back there? Bill can, did the little one. Can we get some thumbs up for the little one back there? Anyone? Bill Jody. <laughs> So in the club, and it's not open, we will reopen um, at the end of June. It is a private club, um, but we do a whole bunch of project, projects there. And uh, we do have a paint night where I give you the tracer and all that. Just order the Oh, one. Sherry. Okay. So you got your clay. I don't want to mush up. Yes, don't forget the cornstarch. I've done that before for sure. She still gets them out, though, but the cornstarch yes, is the definitely corn easier. Helps. Okay. Where can I get the mold? Where do I get a mold like that, Patricia said? Uh, just comment link. Patricia, okay. comment link. We L -I -N -K. have a few of them in the store. L-I-N-K. So you're going to take your... Hey, Karen. Thumbs up right back to you, Karen. You're going to take your clay. You're going to push. And then it has this little lip on it. Jody said uh, the quality... The quality and details are fabulous on these IOD molds. Yeah. She said, I just love all four of them that I got from Oh, company. yeah. Now, we're, that's, like I said, there's certain products that we like to carry, um, and it's because of the quality. So, there's our little butterfly, and there's a little rim on there. So, what the rim helps you with. Thanks, Don. Don loves my yellow flowers on the flamingo. Oh, he did good, yeah. Thanks, Allison. <laughs> all right, we're going to smooth it out. And then we're going to do the other one. Thanks, guys. Okay. I don't see a lot of newbies. If you're new, comment newbie. Yeah, there's a lot of you guys on here, We'd though. We'd love to give you a Thank nice you. big shout out. Okay. So I'm going to just do a couple. And then we'll show you. So if you've never worked with molds, there's so many things you can do with them. Oops. Pop them out. Um, you can put them on furniture. You can put them um, on glass, anything. I mean, there's so many possibilities. I'm going to do a little one here. Put a little one over there. A little one over there. You guys will see. But I thought they were really cute. This is perfect spring. Um, so super excited about that. There is a troll on the page tonight. Okay. Who said that? Uh, Lisa said that. Lisa, can you snap it? Yes. If you see any comments or anything, please snap it. Tina them. said it too. Troll, okay. Bill. You know what? Snap that and send it to us. Yep. You guys have our information. Snap it and send it to us. Yep. It's it, We're going to go right back to crafting. There's no more talking about it. Just thank you for letting us know. Yep. Maybe uh, Nicole Richard, if you could snap it too, just in case. Welcome, newbies. Thanks, Nancy. Oh, that might be actually, yeah, that's that's a troll troll. What is it? Jamaloo said, Deborah on the go. Failure will never overtake you if your determination to succeed is um, strong that's enough. That's a troll troll, yeah. I got what I dreamed of with the help of a great man. All right, Bill's going to try to delete that one. Okay. Okay. So take your time with your... Um, can you use hot glue on the mold? You can. So the molds are food safe, so you can even do these like with chocolate. If you're a baker, you can use them um, for cupcakes and things like that. Um, you can use them with resin. I've really been wanting to try that. And you can use them with hot glue. No way, Janice. Janice. I just, because we're gonna put this outside, I'm not using the hot glue. The clay will, the clay will last longer. Janice said, I didn't say, I didn't say this before, but I'm new. This is my first text for the live and my very first live. Oh, welcome. Welcome, Janice. <laughs> welcome. welcome. We're so excited. We love seeing everybody on here. You guys are so supportive. It's Friday night, but we know we haven't been on, so we're like, you know, come chit-chat. Yeah, we'll pop on. It was perfect timing to pop on, so. Okay, and then I'm going to do this little one here. We had pizza tonight. Friday night's like our pizza night. We love this place called Old Town Pizza here in town. It's very similar to a Chicago pizza. That's as close as we could get to a Chicago pizza. we love pizza. it. So Friday night's usually pizza night. We love it. But yeah. And we don't usually go on, if you're new, we usually go on Tuesdays and Thursdays around 8 p.m. Sometimes a little before, sometimes a little after, but generally right around 8. But again, that behind Carol, it's 847 
349-4477. Get on our texting and we'll let you know. We don't spam you. We just let you know when we're going on live. Yeah. And if anything new is coming out so you can get firsthand mm -hmm. of when something new the is coming. The information, yeah. Tina said, welcome newbies. Oh, uh, thanks, Carla. Stephanie said, newbies. You will love Carolyn. <laughs> we have fun here. We do. Thank you, Nicole, for sending that. I think I think I got it, Nicole, but thank you. Perfect. Okay. So what you have here, you'll see, is your molds. So you're going to put all of them in there. And you're going to the lip. You're going to squish it down. And then there's this little lip, and it's a patented lip. And then basically what it does is it cuts your clay so you'll have less of excess and you won't use as much clay because you're kind of pushing it off and it's falling off. So those are the butterflies. And then I did the same thing for the B one. Donna, push. if you comment link L I N K, you'll get information on the uh, on, on the molds, molds. Yep. and the clay. Yep. You'll get everything. So everything is in the. Those are little pieces. Joey so said, "Carol, this was perfect timing because there's absolutely nothing on TV tonight." <laughs> there you go. Um, where did I put my little plastic bag? Oh. Whoa, Carol said, <sighs> Carol said, Old Town is my favorite also. I just love their salad. Their strawberry salad, Carol? Are you from around here? Yeah, their strawberry salad is really good. It's, uh, you're a neat salad. You eat I know, that. and I eat that one. Um, so go ahead and make sure that you put your clay in an airtight bag. Get all the air out. Kim, so. feel better, okay? Oh, she Prayers for that? you. Yeah, she said, just got home from the hospital. Oh. I had surgery on Thursday, so... Feel better, Kim. We'll all pray for you. Okay, let me get this. Kathy said, now I want pizza. <laughs> I love pizza, Kathy. I could eat I could eat pizza every single day. All right, I'm popping these out. So is there a technique to popping them out? No, it's silicone mat, so you're it's gonna pop out as you're bending it. And then you can help it along if they're um, larger. Somebody asked, um, uh, where did it go? Is this a spray inside the mold before the clay? And Lisa said, no, it's talcum powder. It's not talcum powder, uh, is it? It's cornstarch. Cornstarch. Which is similar to Similar that. to talcum yeah. powder, yes. You can use you can use that powder. Thanks, well. Lisa, for responding. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. Okay. And I'll show you guys the details on them in a second. But the powder, just see how they look pop out. Look how easy that was for you yeah. to do, though. I mean, look how many you made in, right. uh, I mean, in, in a you're couple doing minutes. It on, and you're doing it on camera. So... You're gonna see, see the butterfly? Look at the details on that. That is so cool. And then even like the little ones are so pretty. So I love working with clay. I, I just love that look. Um, so you get a lot to choose from. But like I said, there's just so many things you can do with them. So let's get them on the pot. So I'm gonna use um, this is what IOD recommends. It's called Tight Bond. I got it from Amazon. So I'm going to randomly put my little, um, butterflies on here. So you're just going to take your Tight Bond and you're going to put a little more than what I did. <laughs> Ooh, Joy said they have mod pizza. It's like Subway. You pick what, what you want, put it on it. I have had that before, Joy. This That's is just really a good. popsicle stick, and I'm spreading it out. You could use your fingers, but you're going to get sticky. Okay, Jody, uh, the phone number is area code 847-349-4477. And if you hold on till the end, I'll make sure Carol um, shows it again. So when you put your clay pieces on, you just want to make sure that you're adhering it to the pot, but you're gently touching it so that you're not messing up your design. See how pretty that is? So we're going to let that set. Okay. And then I'm going to put, let me put the little bigger ones on here and then I can go from there. Oops. But just while they're wet is when you want to take them out, out of the molds and then you want to get them on your pieces. Because if you let them dry in their molds, um, they're going to dry basically not forming to your pot. You want it to, to form to it, meaning because the pot is round, you want it to, to, to adhere to all of it. 
and you can have fun. This is so fun. Even the kids can do this. I mean, you know, a lot of you do a lot of crafting with your grandkids. This is perfect. But look how pretty that is. So you just put that on there. I got the other troll, guys. Don't worry. Ooh, we got I a deleted it. Well, it was responding to almost everybody on here. Oh, jeez. It was the same. It's this basically the same message. Ugh. Let's see see what's going on. But that doesn't pertain to anything we talked about in the beginning. No. But no. I got it, Pat. Thank you. Put some here. But this is fun. Um, so um, somebody said, Patricia said, so you don't have to wait till it dries before you glue it on? No, nope. no. Nope. Now, ideally, what you would want to do is at least get them on your pot or whatever you're putting them on. Because um, like I said, this is rounded. So you want it while it's still pliable, you want it to hit those edges. Um, ideally, you would want after you're done decorating, so however you want to decorate, I'm not going to worry about the back because my pots are going to be facing forward, um, but you can for sure do the whole pot if you wanted, but you're going around and making sure it's on here. And then if you want, what you should do, well, we're not doing that because we're on a live, is you would wait. So you would let this dry for a couple hours. Dawn said, how long do you have to let it dry? Yeah, so you can let it dry overnight. Um but we're going to start, we're going to work with it. And then I'm going to get these on here. Yeah, Stephanie, there is a few different trolls in there tonight. But yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to catch them. I deleted the comments. I blocked them. So we'll yeah. see. They're just going to come up with somebody else. So What kind of glue are you using? This is called Tight Bond. It's a quick drying glue um, specifically for the molds. At least that's what IOD recommends. So that's why I'm using it. Hot glue, if you were to use hot glue, I mean, if you're putting this outside, um, sometimes hot glue doesn't do well outside. Even if you seal your piece, it could pop off. So you definitely want to, um, you want to use something that's going to, you know, Kathleen obviously Carr sustain. Said, Sorry, but I had to pop off really quick. What type of clay and what glue is that are you using? The, the clay is IOD clay, and we do have that in our market. <laughs> Comment link, Kathleen, yeah. and you'll get the information. Yep. Comment link. And then tight bond is the, the glue. And then um, Cindy asked, can those molds be used on plastic flower pots? Yes, absolutely. You can transform like the Dollar Tree pots. You can um, absolutely, these molds can go on anything, on anything. Um, Did you do the dragonfly already? Somebody said they're loving the dragonfly. Yes, look at that. Look at Look at that. that. Look at cool? It. So super excited about that. Yeah, dragonflies are cool. Yeah, so pretty. And what makes this so fun is you can make this however you want. This is where your creativity comes out. You 100% can do however you want um, on all of this. So um, that's where the fun is. And that's what's so cool about the molds um, is, is the fact that you can make one butterfly, you can make three butterflies, you can make four butterflies, you can do whatever you want. As long as you have enough clay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to put got my little B. I'm going to put my B on there. Thanks, guys. We appreciate you guys on. Like I said, get on our texting. We'll let you know when we're live. Uh, Kathy asked, is there a hummingbird? Uh, I, I don't, don't see a so. hummingbird. No. We oh, have a bird birds. set. On the birds, maybe. On the birds, maybe. We do have a, a bird set. You can see it if you comment link, and then it, I think it's called Bird Song. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if there's a hummingbird on it or not. Okay, put the little bee. See him right there? Jennifer said, I'm now watching you on my TV. Oh! <laughs> I've still been trying to figure this out. Barbara Brown, thank you for the stars. You're amazing. You guys are awesome. Okay, now we're going to put this big bee. Like I said, I'm not going to put it in the back, but I am. Patches. See? He's kind of big. Patches said she accidentally hit the mad face. Patches, <laughs> there's a mad face or a cry face, Patches. Which one were you hitting? Either one, the cry or the mad. So okay. the, the molds that are my favorite are this one, which is the laurel. Um, it has the bee in it. This is the monarch. That's all the butterflies. And then this one's been really popular. Um, this one's bird song. We used it last week when we made um, over those cutting boards from um, Aldi. Okay, so we've got that, so let those set. So I'm gonna let these set and I'm gonna go back to stamping on my other one. Okay, so we've got these to the side. 
remove that. That was so the... easy. Yes, super easy. But like I said, you're just look making cool sure. Look. look how cool they look so far. So that's everything that you're doing on here. And you can do whatever you want. Look how dirty your fingers are. I know. <laughs> Okay. Sherry Wolf let's... said no hummingbirds on the bird. Okay. Thank you for telling us. Thank you, Sherry. No hummingbirds. What kind of birds are they? Just regular birds? Uh, I think so. Probably like a cardinal or just... What kind of birds, Sherry? <laughs> yeah, what Let kind of know. birds are they? Anybody that's ordered the bird song, what kind of birds are they? Yeah. I don't know my birds. I don't know my birds either. <laughs> uh, Tina said, I just sent a ton of hearts. Maybe that'll cancel off Patches and <laughs> Patches and Mercedes. But yeah, that's true. That's thank funny. You, uh, and thank you to everybody that's sending the stars. We yeah. really do appreciate it. Yes. It does support our page. It does. So we appreciate that. Oh, she would love this. Good. Yes, if you have friends that love to DIY, that's what we're all about here. So definitely go ahead and share the video. Um, we would love to welcome them. Okay, so this is gorgeous. This is called the floral swag, but I love it. Wait till you see it with the blue. Okay, we're going to get these pots done. <laughs> so stamping on a surface, a round surface, isn't always the easiest but here's my motto. You're not gonna know until you try. And two, if it's not perfect, it's for you. So don't worry about it. No, no, no. somebody <laughs> said you got paint on your shirt. Where? I think above your right, your left, I'm sorry. No. Your left, yeah, right by the pizza crust. Well, that's, no, that's uh. Oh, that's powder. That's chalk, powder, everything in between. Patricia, thank you for the stars. So I've got the round. All right. Marilyn's first time here. Hey, Marilyn. I'm taking rolling pins to help my pot stay in place, but you can use uh, pool noodles like from um, Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Okay. I'm trying to make my room. Okay. Actually, I shouldn't do that now. I'm going to put this to the side. I got to do the stamp first. So, with your stamps, when you get them, you've got to prep them. You can be tough with them, don't worry. Oh, they hold up. They hold up. So you're gonna take, I actually need, I need this thin mold. Let me get that off of there. You got a lot of, you need a bigger table. <laughs> need a bigger table. You need a bigger table. Okay, yeah, you can put those there. Okay, so this is like a thin mold it's a, um, mount. It's gonna help us with um, putting, the stamp on there. Okay, so when you get your stamp, you're going to want to season them, meaning you're going to take 220 sandpaper and you're going to lightly brush over your stamps. This is going to help your stamps um, adhere the, the, what's that called? The ink. So just take your lightly sandpaper and go ahead and this is conditioning once you do this you don't ever have to do it again you're just going to do it for the first time sue said towels really work work really well to hold projects in place too oh that's a great idea will yes you watch out for your tea over there i know i keep like knocking put it behind into. you i will you're making me so nervous okay i'm like talking and talking all right i'm going to take I'm gonna do this. So you kind of want to eyeball. Can you guys see that? You're gonna kind of want to eyeball where we're gonna put this stuff. Just playing with it. I'm gonna see. I might do that, and then I might do the little bird. Okay. So let's get the first one. So we're gonna keep it simple. We're not gonna go a little crazy. So this is my thin mount. You can use the the ones that come with the, the the stamps as well. Roll the towels and place them on both sides. Oh, that's yes. a good idea. You could probably use one big one too, right, Sue? You could kind of twist it a little bit and then just make a big horseshoe out of it, depending on what you're wrapping. So this is IOD China Blue. We do have a few of these. We don't have too many of the... the um, Blacks. I think we have one black left. Uh, ink, the black, and I don't know how many sponges... We have, but you just basically 
are putting it on there. So this whole bottle does last a lot. Tina. What? It's 8.40 at night, and I'm watch and I'm, it's 8.40 at night, and I'm drinking coffee and watching Carol. Does life really get any better than this? <laughs> <laughs> what do you ladies think? You guys are awesome. So it's going to go down into your ink. Actually, Nicole, jump dry. off and jump back in. Comments will come back. Is that still blue? Yeah, it's still blue. Do you just have to load it up? Yeah. Okay. Putting it all in here. It seems like it's soaking up a lot, so let me just make sure. Make sure once it's not taking anymore, then you know it's full. So she's just filling the ink pad right now with, uh, what color blue is that? This is China blue. China blue. China blue. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna take our pad, we're gonna take our brayer. Which we have those in the market also. Yep, we're gonna and take... watch how easy this makes it with the brayer. You just get that ink all on that roller and then you just apply it right on, right on your uh, stencil. Is right that a on. stencil? Yep, uh, stamp. Stamp. Take it. It's really a light blue, but it's. Make sure. Oh. Uh, Sandy I don't know said, if I'm not doing enough. Hold on. I think you got to hit the roller all the way too. Sandy said if, if you, also if you put the stamp on a block, then stamp it against the skin on the inside of your arm. Yeah. It will also condition the stamp. Why is it not? Is there a coating on it? You guys know what No, you're it's on there. You I'm guys just know having a hard time. It's the color, I think, because it's not black. Yeah, so it's like, not black, and I think that's what's throwing me off. I'm make like, sure you go over it? where your finger rubbed. Yeah. You guys know we do this live. There's no. <laughs> yeah, there's no. Uh... There's always. There's never a plan B. We don't come up with a plan B. <laughs> okay, let's get this on here. So I got my little rolling. This is my stamp. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Stephanie said, "I think one of the things I love about your lives is that you work really good together and you complement each other. Aww. Such great teamwork." Yeah. What else do you guys love about the lives? Is there something else? It doesn't have to be us. I mean, the projects, the, yeah. the backdrop, the texting. The backdrop needs to change. So basically what you're doing with the stamp is you're lightly pushing down on it. Like I said, if it doesn't go all the way, just keep your hands still because you don't want. Also, it looks a little harder on that pot. Yeah. On that pot, it's a little harder, but just work in little sections. You'll be fine. Hey, Kelly Hillard. And then I'm going to push down here and push down here. And like I said, once, just hold it still. But here's the beauty of it. Look at that. No way. Look how cool that looks. Right there, it didn't come out. Let me see. Care. It looks like it it's looks vintage. worn. Like it it's worn. Vintage. So that's that. Let me get... I love that. Okay, so Tina said, I love the fact that Carol tries new and different things all the time. It's never the same old stuff. Oh, good. I try to have you guys go outside of your box. I really do. Um, I love, I mean, like I said, I love trying new things. And if I love a product, I always, um, yes, is it an investment up front? 100%. But the projects that you could do with these, is just it just blows my mind. And it's endless. Okay. It really is. They last yeah. a long, I mean, they last So there's forever, the bird. As long as you take care of them. Let me do the bird. <laughs> Jody said, I got to say, the projects are always great, but I always just come to see you and Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, hey, Jody. Jody. <laughs> Patcha said she You guys loves were all sweet. We got so many messages. That's why it was, you know, we're fine. We know. We try to keep you guys in the loop as much as possible. Um, but sometimes it's it's not so. And Patcha said, "I love how supportive everyone is here on this page, and everybody is here for each other." Aww. I just love you all, and I think she means all oh, three hundred and twenty of you, yeah. twenty of you that are on, <laughs> not just yeah. us. I know Patches. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't personally know her, but I kind of do. So you're just taking. So basically, what you're doing is don't move it around. Once it's down, it's down, you commit to it, and then you just slide your fingers across, and whatever touches the terracotta pot, touches the terracotta pot. 
Uh, Joey said, I like... Okay, my bird face is missing, so I need to fix that. <laughs> Joey said, uh, I like that it's... Oh, hold on, Joey, it's going fast. I'll show it to you in a minute. I'm fixing the face. I like that it's not the same as all others. You're always original. Oh, thank you. Okay. Jennifer said, I love the variety of the projects, plus the two of you are, are real and kind to each other. You Aww. are so enjoyable to watch. It's, an, it's no stress watching you. I'm good. I'm good. Look at the birdie. Let me see. I'm good. <laughs> How fun is that? So we're going to do one more stamp. Did I just she, love that look. Did I just she love just say that. birdie too? Birdie. Did I say birdie? Yeah. Did you guys see the birdie? <laughs> uh, you guys are funny. I'm funny. <laughs> All right. Let's take one more flower. These, these stamps can take a beating. That's for sure. Okay. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to do one more. Hey, Brenda. I think the blue is cool. I think it's a really cool, um, different look because it's not as stark as the black. So it's just another variety. But with the inks, you definitely need a new pad. You can't do it on the same pad. Cindy said, I need to take a giant step outside my box. You know what, Cindy? Oh. You can do it. You have a lot of women on here that are very helpful Let's see i'm trying to see I'm trying to see how we're going to do this all right we're just going to do a continuation there we go jerry wolf said uh i love everything especially the company <laughs> we love your company too thanks guys after using the stencil how do you clean them for other uses you just can take a lysol wipe there you go look how cool that looks so, so you can do you, you can do whatever you want. So yeah. basically, with with the um, with these, you can take a Lysol wipe, which is just plain old Lysol, like a baby wipe, like a Lysol baby wipe, wipe, and you can just wipe it down. Comes right off. Show them the wipe. So you can see the blue ink comes right off. Then you just change it into black or Where whatever did you, you want to do. Lysol wipes. Those are like gold around. I here. know. We got them from Walmart. Sue likes the blue. Yeah, the blue's a little different. It's definitely different. Okay, I'm not gonna have you watch me do all the stamps, but you basically would take. Jody said, You didn't have the blue when I ordered all my I stuff. I know, here. I we just Sorry, got the blue. Jody, we just got the blue. We just got the blue. And like I said, as far as the stamp pads are concerned, I think we literally have one more left. I went to go get more, and they're sold out right now. One more of those? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, I'm 100% sure. Oh. You're thinking ink, or you're thinking clay. Clay, yeah. Um, so, but we do have a lot of other products, for sure. Okay. So, how cool is that? I love it. I love it. And then you can go around the whole edge. So, something like this, what I would do is once I'm finished, um, you can spray it with... Um, polyurethane and put that outside um you can use dixie bell gator hide if you have that that you can do as well um i prefer to spray it only because sometimes your ink might run if you use a brush um but you can definitely try that nicole, so this one i'm gonna spray it when we're done nicole said what if we all go on a crafting cruise <laughs> all right wouldn't that be fun that'd be crazy okay Great let's finish this nicole. thanks for hanging out with us guys we appreciate it we do. And for spreading the honey. Spreading the honey, sharing, sprinkling, whatever you want to call it, thank you. You know you got a neighbor, a friend, somebody that wants to see this and that maybe you craft with somebody else. Spread Where did I them. put? Um... What do you need? <laughs> yeah. oh That's what I'm here for. Open that. Oh. Um, <laughs> I needed another jar. Holy smoke. I need oh, another I can't. Jar. I don't. I don't think you're opening it. Here, just stand over here and hold the base of it while I twist it. And you hold the... Hold on, guys. <laughs> Ready? Mm -hmm. He got it. <laughs> I need another um, what do you jug need? or something. Another... Another what? Another... Um, what do you need a jug for? Because like i got to mix this up. Mixer? How about yeah. that other Greek yogurt? Okay. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Here we go. Okay, so this method, we're gonna put the baking soda and we're gonna paint these up. So I'm gonna show you how cool these are. Thanks for all the hearts, guys. So this is a really pretty color by Dixie Bell. It's vintage duck egg. 
So I'm going to put some of that in there. It's a little thicker. Sure, and sure. on our website, beinspiredmarket.net, we do have a link to Dixie Bell. We don't sell their products directly, but we are affiliates. And then baking soda. You guys, we did this technique. I feel like it's a one-to-one -one ratio, but I'm just having fun with it. So whatever works as far as texture, I'm okay with. Okay. So if you've never seen the baking soda... I'm definitely going to need more baking soda and any paint. Um, or you can use uh, plaster of Paris instead of the baking soda. It's just going to give you a, a chunkier. Um, oh, that's going to drive Bill crazy. They love that color. The, <laughs> the color, color, the vintage one is really pretty. I used to do our, we have a cabinet painted there's an Annie Sloan color that's similar to this one, um, but I was excited when Dixie Bell got it. Kim said, hey, Carol, thank you for the gnome. I just love him. Oh, you're welcome. Or it. Love him. So it's a him. What else we got on here? Hole in the ground. Catherine Schaefer. Catherine Schaefer, you're going to get, I forgot, guys. <laughs> We've got gnomes. Catherine Schaefer, I just saw your comment. Go ahead and message the page so we can send you out a gnome. Can I um, have a pen, please, so I can write her name? I always think I leave you. It's right there. It's blue, right there. Thank you. So there you go. We got to give away those films. Catherine Schaefer, can you text us your address so I can get that gnome out to you? Okay. So watch how cool this is. I'm just taking a chip brush. We're going to paint these up and we're going to make these really cool. You're going to see because we're going to use some white wax too. I know it's a longer live, but you guys are good, right? <laughs> They're never in a hurry. They're never in a hurry. Figure we do a longer one since we haven't been on for a while. And we talked a little bit in the beginning. Yeah, we talked a little bit. Yeah, because I don't know what time is it. Uh, it is. What time is it? Uh, 8.56. Oh, wow. But well, we got a later start because we're chit-chatting. Chit-chatting. So see how I said you can you can definitely paint on your um, terracotta pots, even with the with the molds not fully dry. Kimberly Holland said, gosh, I've missed your beautiful face, Carol. Yes, I've missed hearing you too, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kimberly. We've missed you too. Yeah. Where have you been? 100%. It's so nice to see you guys. <laughs> So when you're putting it on here, you're just slapping it on. Yeah, Patty asked, does the baking soda give it texture or does it just make it thicker? It gives it texture. It definitely gives it texture. Those granules in the baking soda um, give it texture for sure. So, you know what Sue said? Huh. Just stay on forever, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> for the whole hour. I love you, Sue. All right, so we've got... Yeah, any of you that have gotten a gnome so far, a free gnome from us... From Carol, what have you named him or her? <laughs> yeah. What are the names? I know Patch's names. Patch's name. <laughs> All right. So see how cool that is? You're just, you're, it's just different, and it's definitely something nobody else is going to have. And once we put the white wax on there, you're going to see how it pops. Thanks for the stars, Wendy. So we've got that. Somebody asked, now is the clay completely dry? Or it's no? not. It will dry as it, it, as I'm sealing it with the paint. So it's enough to kind of move it around. That's why I let it sit for a little bit. Because um, you definitely don't want to move it off your terracotta pot. And you definitely don't want to ruin the details. But it's good enough to, to get them on there. So this is vintage. Uh, what does Cap it say? Catherine. Vintage. So Catherine asked, this is my first time watching. Wow, Catherine, and you got a gnome. That's awesome. Oh, that's she awesome. Said, How do I do that? I'm assuming the texting. I will send you the number right now. All you do is... If um, you In the description, if, it, if you're new, in the description is a link. It says text Carol and Bill. You can click that link, and that'll take you to your texting, and then you can message us right there. So we make it easy for you. So after the live, you can just click the link in the description and you'll be all set. So thank you. Oh, my battery's low. 
What the what? Is it real low? <laughs> it just says 20%. It's oh, cool. you got plenty of time. Okay. So we've got this, and then we're going to do the white wax that you guys are going to see. So the, the point of the molds is really just to step your spring ga game as far as these terracotta pots. But if you're a Dollar Treeer and you go to Dollar Tree, you can definitely... Um, that looks unbelievable. You can definitely pick up... We should make that for my mom for Mother's Day. <laughs> you missed a spot before somebody else comments. <laughs> no, we should make those for my mom. I so your mom, mom can tell us no? No, I think my mom would actually just like that. <laughs> make sure you get your inner, um, you know, wherever your pot's going to show. Look at that. I'm pretty good with eyeballing how much I need. Because once you put the baking soda in here, that it's pretty much done. Just make enough for your project. Tina said, no, Bill, go plug her phone in right now. You know what, <laughs> Tina, I can't because the way we have it mounted, the plug doesn't but fit we're fine. Right now, but we're good. She's yeah. got 20%. Okay. So we're going to put this. I'm going to show you how we finish these off. Reva said, don't worry, Carol, we'll watch all night. <laughs> you guys are Jody so Jody said, so your mom wouldn't accept them? Yeah, right. <laughs> Jody, you heard the story. Yeah. You heard the stories. Carol has made some really amazing crafts. You guys have seen it, okay. seen them, and we've offered them to my mom, and she'll actually turn up her lip. <laughs> so hopefully my mom's not watching. Yeah, she's going to be I like... I usually say it in the club and in the high. Really? <laughs> but yeah, if she's watching or my dad's watching, he'll make okay. sure he Okay, let me in. wash my hands a little. Let's get these dried. You guys get to see with the white wax it's going to uh, pop. So you can paint over the mold pieces even Absolutely. though they're not dry? Yep. Okay. So you can see, I definitely 100% painted right over them. Do you see that? And when we put the white wax on there, it, that's what's gonna bring out those details. If you like the darker look and you wanna use like a dark wax, you could do that. You can leave them as is. You can go back if you wanted to with your water whitewash. You could do a whitewash over it. Now, if it's outside, you definitely, even though you're using a white wax, you're gonna want to still do the polyurethane. So the wax isn't strong enough to last out in the sun. Um, so you're gonna definitely want to use a polyurethane. But if you have a covered front porch. Yeah, if it's or, a covered front porch, it's different. And for what the cost of the terracotta yeah, pots and for you to make these, even if they really only lasted one season, I mean. Yeah. Stephanie said, I would be thrilled if someone gifted me any of your projects. <laughs> right? Can I try this? She's, sometimes she's just Thanks for hanging us. out with those guys. Yeah, you'll, these will pop. And they might pop with the whitewash, too. So I'm going to do both. I'm going to do the white wax, and I'm going to do the whitewash. That's fine with me. So you guys can see the difference. That just said we should have a crafting slumber party. And Sherry said, in our jammies. Carol has crafted in her jammies before. I have. What, what is that in the hive? I think uh, we did yeah. in the hive. And anyone in the, that was in our subscription group, the hive, which is not open right now, Carol actually had me get into a um, a pajama set that she thought was a bee, but it was actually a bear. Wasn't it a bear? Yeah. So it was like a panda bear that she ordered directly from China. That <laughs> was a large, but was actually a small, so it was not true to size, and I could not fit in it. But we got to a certain amount of viewers, and I promised everybody if we got to a certain amount of viewers, yeah, he put it on. I would get in it, and I got in it. But it was definitely <laughs> okay. If anybody remembers that, comment. Yeah. All right, you guys are good, thanks. Take these if your mom turns them down, Jody says. Yeah. <laughs> Nicole says too, for the crafting in her jammies. Okay, let's do one with the whitewash. So this is just an option. Now she dried the paint. So, so the I dried dry. the paint as best I can. There's a couple pieces that aren't, or a couple spots. Thanks everybody for hanging polyurethane out. Polyurethane or polyacrylic? Polyurethane. Poly polyurethane turns all my stuff yellow, Kimberly said. Polyacrylic. What, whatever one is water-based. Isn't one water-based and one not water-based? Whatever one I have in the back over I, there. I think, I think it's the acrylic. I think, I think poly it's acrylic poly acrylic. Polyurethane. Thank is. you for correcting me. Jody said, uh, Judy said, I'm now on the text alerts. Well, look okay. at that, Judy. Okay. 
So this is the whitewash, if you're just joining, which I'm thinking you guys haven't or have been on for a while. So this was the whitewash one that we just did. So now I'm just using the same. It's just a whitewash is water and, and paint. So I'm going to take that. Kathy said those are beautiful and I, you're getting paint all over. Hello. All over your... <gasps> Why is that? Because you are flicking the brush because it's so stiff. You are literally doing this. Look at me. <laughs> All over your shirt. And then I'm going to take my uh, baby wipe and I'm going to just wipe it on there. You guys are going to see. Somebody said, could you just whitewash the, the butterflies? Yep, you can do however you want. Okay, you're going to see this. Poly acrylic is water based. Thank okay, you. that's the yes, one I'm If you about. know, guys, comment. Let us know. Okay. Nancy Cross said, "Oh, Bill, I remember that. That was that's way too hard to forget." <laughs> don't um, don't flicker. <laughs> Flipped everywhere. Hey, Carmen. So this is just the whitewash, and then this is a baby wipe. So you're gonna see how the details come out. <laughs> Don said, "Oops." Oops, yeah. LOL. It's all over the place, guys. Oh, it's, you know, it's on the camera stand. Oh, it's on the wall. Oh. oh. Oops, sorry. Carol. Do you want a piece of my... <laughs> <laughs> you want a piece of my... <laughs> Somebody said they're a flicker, too. Angie said, Angie said, I'm a flicker, too. Oops. <laughs> oh, man, I'm late. Carmen, it's okay. It's okay. You can go back and watch the beginning and watch the replay. <laughs> you might want to watch the beginning. <laughs> okay. So then you're just taking, <laughs> they're laughing. Um, so you're gonna take. I can't believe you got it on the wall. I know, I got it everywhere. Patches. I did. Did it get on me? <laughs> <laughs> so see how the butterfly is? And then how it's a little darker? So you're gonna take your baby wipe and you're just gonna get into the areas and you're gonna rub. You're just, it's just giving it that look. But do you see how cool that looks? Look at the. And then like right there, I think it's right there by my little guy. I was a little. Your little guy? My little. <laughs> right there by my little guy. By my little uh, dragonfly. Stephanie said, I'm laughing out loud. You want a pizza meat? <laughs> <laughs> and she throws up her fist. And when she first did it, she used to put her thumbs inside her fist. I go, you're going to break your thumb if you were to hit me. Um. Okay. So see like. Here, if you're missing any spots or time, but look how cool that looks. Look how cool. Nobody's going to have pots like these. Okay. Right. Kim said, what a great Mother's Day present. Yes, absolutely. You can make it your own. So here I'm going to use Dixie Belle's white wax. I'm going to show you guys the difference. So that was a whitewash. Okay, that's what the whitewash looks like. And then this is the white wax. So I'm just taking the brush. That's cool. But see, I would just do the butterfly. Make the butterflies pop. Not you to do it. I'm saying that's another great technique. You can just do lightly and then do harder on the pieces that are. Looks like old Italian pots, Patches said. Mm-hmm. So this is just the whitewash. Kathleen Carge said, yeah, where have you been, Kathleen? She said, Bill, you've still not outgrown your paint paranoia. <laughs> right? See, that's the whitewash. Look how cool that looks. So then you just go around and then you put it on here. Tina, Tina said, hey, Carol, just get out the glitter, Bill. Forget all about the paint. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are giving me anxiety. So look how cool that looks. Isn't that gorgeous? So white wax, whitewash. You definitely want, I mean, if you wanted that, just that muted look, you can 100% do it. Um, and then I would use Gator Hide. That's a... That's also a water-based um, protectant against like water and things like that. So you just want to protect your pots. So um, obviously your molds don't get ruined. Kirsten said, I'm going to order those molds and try resin. Oh, yes. yes. And we do ship to Canada. Shipping for Canada is not free shipping, but we do ship to Canada. Um, and we have shipped to the United Kingdom. So if you are looking... The UK. The UK. So if those are two places you're at, you are more than welcome to order from us. Um, we will get that out to you. What, what brand white was that? I'm so, assuming whitewash. What brand whitewash? It was uh, Dixie Belle Fluff. 
but you can use no, Waverly. The whitewash, I think. Yes. Okay. So it was uh, Dixie Belle fluff with water. That's all it was. And that was what was in the can. And that's what we put on our pot here. So that's the look that we were going for. So now, when you're done with your pots, I'm going to replant these. What is the white wax, Kathy said? Uh, Dixie Belle white wax. So white wax is a protectant. So if you were using white wax is what you can use with chalk paint when you're doing, like it's a protection on furniture, but it changes the appearance of your um, paint. It lightens it up. Um, and Dixie Belle carries it in white, black, and brown in all colors. It's just uh, another dimension, another uh, texture, I should say. Catherine, I did not get your text. I think she said, okay, I just sent it. Can you please let me know if you did not get it? Catherine, I did not get it. Okay. 847-349-4477. So look how pretty this is from your terracotta pots. So just go to the store, fill them up. Lowe's has these. Um, we love Lowe's. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Lowe's and Old Town Pizza. <laughs> you can't go wrong with either of those. Lowe's or going to Old Town, old, not Old Time. Old, old Time, town. yeah. And old then town. here's your, um, oh, I got to flip that over. But I'll have to replant these. Or just raise them up. This one over here just needs to be raised up. Or raised this up. This one? This one? But look how pretty for, like we were saying, Mother's Day gifts. You can 100% put, make your own pot, decorate it however you want. I always think it's cute. Put your name on the bottom in the year. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and then just put the pots together with flowers that your mom's going to be able to put out in her garden or on her front porch. And we got those flowers at a local farmer's market. Oh, we like did, a yeah. a local farmer's market. They were $2.99 a piece. Mm -hmm. And Carol has already had them for almost a week. And they haven't died yet. And they haven't died. But who watered them? You did. Yeah. <laughs> Don said those pots. Was, oh, I'm so glad. And I love the color. So like I said, you could do them white, you could do them any color you want, but I just wanted to show you some different ways of decorating them, um, adding the texture to them, and um, having fun with it. That's that's really all it's, it's about. Oh, you were gifted a scroll saw. Oh, go have fun, Kathy. Those are beautiful. They would make great gifts, absolutely, for any occasion. Birthday, um, anniversary. Oh, Carolyn loves these. Oh, I'm so glad, Robbie. Thank you. Love Old Town. Always go when, oh, when you're in Florida, Lori always goes there for pizza. Put stone on the bottom for drainage. Oh, that's a perfect idea. Um, Sherry says, put a stone down and there really, for drainage. really, like this bigger pot, what I was saying was, is you just need to put something on the bottom to raise it up so the stones could raise this up anyway. And yes. you're fine. You just drop them in. So if they were to die, you just have to pull these pull out. Pull them out and do in. it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad. Can they see this one? I don't know if they can yeah, see this we one saw on the that. camera. Yep, that one was on there. That so, one was with what? the. Uh, that was with the stamps. The stamps. So make sure you guys comment link. Um, you can get the link to our store, um, and you guys can go check it out. Everybody says beautiful, and thank you again for everything. Um, we love spending time with you guys. We normally are live on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, things have been hectic, so we haven't been on as often. But Just we this will, week, though. Yes, but we will be back to our normal schedule. Get our water meter to show. Oh, and they need water. That's good. True. And Barbara Brown said, can you, can you share a picture when you do put them on your ladder? Oh, absolutely. Yes. The ladder needs to be painted, so she's yes. got to paint that first. Oh, thanks, Lori. And Julie said, we missed you. We, we missed, missed you guys too, too, Julie. Perfect. I'm glad you guys had fun. Thank you for hanging out with us on the Friday. If you need anything, you know how to reach us. Um, and we will see you guys soon. Have a great night, everybody. Bye. Bye, guys. Thank you again. Enjoy your evening and be safe. Be safe.